we've had to do a change of plans because the clutch of the mill has blown up. Actually, we need to, we need summary. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so the clutch broke. Short answer. Yeah. We're replacing a clutch with a older clutch, but hopefully less wobbly clutch because what we had this morning is the clutch started um, vibrating on the shaft quite badly. I'm just going to move this motor over here close to the door. Unfortunately, both the clutches are stuck in the same spot. We've got a tiny little Allen key way, way inside in between these two pulleys. And that Allen key is stuck. So on the last clutch that we took off of our motor that's on the mill, we couldn't get it out, so we just used a puller and pulled it right off of the shaft. It made a mess, kind of a big, nice, long scratch from the shaft. <laughs> what, I'm finding this out for the first time. <laughs> She is.
so where we're at here is we pulled the clutch from an old motor and then had to move one of the springs from the original bro broken clutch onto this new clutch well new new used clutch uh, which was a bit of a hassle and we're just slotting in a key which seems to be somewhat fitting yeah it's the key that came off of this one you know i definitely notice a correlation between cold weather and stuff breaking yeah <laughs> i'm pretty sure i mean this is all kind of experience based but generally you First. know minus 20 oh what do you know something broke today yeah if it's going to break it's going to wait for a nice cold day <laughs> yeah <laughs> and there's me and every other person with heavy machinery at lord co trying to get parts on the same day And now we have one more problem. If you look in here, there's a keyhole here. And this is the original key that was in there. So keys are not supposed to look that way. And what I've seen is there's actually a wear inside the key slot. Um, and basically there's all this play in the shaft. Like there shouldn't be this much play here. So we need to get some washers and do some washer work around the outside. Just to tighten everything up so it doesn't wear the new key out. Okay, I think I actually found a washer that will work. Oh my gosh, it's too tight. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it will fit. Nothing like a, we just need a bigger shaft we can pound that in with. Yeah. Is the key in there? No, it's not in yet. Do you wanna? Yeah. I'll also, do you wanna find a longer key or you? You okay um, using the short one? This is the, ori the original be, is this long. It would be better to find a longer key for sure. Do you think? Do you think the shed would have anything like that? Or I'm not sure where the keys would be. I'm gonna try the first shed, the one. I'm gonna try the first shed. Okay. Yeah, if we can find a longer one, it would be better. Here, I'll bring a. Yeah, this this will fit in. Check the width here. I do not want to deal with this shelf at all. I'm just going to leave that shelf alone. Fifty years of hoarding. <laughs> Semi-organized. Would you like some maple syrup? Mm. That's like an original uh, antique bottle but you that's worth something it's a nice shape <laughs> all right there's too many things to distract that was up on the shelf it has brand new wedges we can definitely use wedges i don't what know what is that, that is so that's okay, it can stay in here. Does anybody know what that is? No. All right. 
it has some plastic hangers. It looks like shower curtain hangers. <laughs> Just in case with your wedges you need shower curtains. A, uh, a lock. That's nice. New in its package. But with the wedges I would not expect to find it. I don't know what that is. Says something. Handle for soldering iron. Yeah. Okay. We still use soldering irons from the. I've got a nice. Hey, that's the handle. That's a... <laughs> another handle. Handle. Two little machine bolts. Nice assortment of brand new washers and things. And this is a safety cover plate. You know what? The only thing that these parts have in common so far is that they're all kind of new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, more bolts and wouldn't be complete without a bicycle Presta uh, <laughs> core. Do they have in common? Most of them are new, but not all. <laughs> like this, this is probably the same shaft. Yeah. That we need. Yeah. Well, this is the key that came out. It looks yeah, like bigger. That would... Oh yeah, that's it. That's the same size. Yeah. Like we're we're in the ballpark. There's a bunch of pulleys here that use the same shaft size, same key. And I mean, the next obvious place to look is in this leaf yeah. pile, but I just don't want to. <laughs> hey, staples. Actually need some of those. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. What do you think that is, hey? That looks like, like some sort of gas valve setup for like. This could be propane. on like a what is this game show? Like. It's some sort of gas fitting. It's got gas fittings on yeah. it. Yeah. Air it's control. Some sort of pressure valve. Are these are these teeth for like a planer? These planer teeth? It looks like it. Yeah, and look, so there's blades here too. Those are bulky though. Oh, hey. Yeah, those. Can you be... imagine what those are worth? Like if. Oh, they're nice. You yeah. had to buy them. Yeah, I think they're the the side ones. They yeah. Look, they're about the same. Did you say this is the most organized of all the sheds? I feel like this was the most well-used shed. Yeah. Well, Sean and I, years ago, did kind of organize it. We, well, our goal was to take everything automotive and put it in this shed. So everything automotive ended up in here, which makes it, by default, the most organized shed. <laughs> Canadian Industries, made in Canada. Oh, it's it's got firearm shells or something. That's what oh, it was yeah. originally for, I think. Huh. And now it houses brakes. Hmm. Brake parts. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to use this chuck. Should still work. Yeah, we 
car. Wiggle test. Told me to get a giant pipe wrench. Well, actually the tricky thing is, is the whole shaft just wants to turn so I can only put so much pressure on it. Oh yeah, I see. It's about as tight as I'm going to get it. Is it still... Oh, it's quite a bit tighter. Yeah. Now the only play is the play that's in the actual what shaft it? of the um, the uh, drive shaft. That's a problem for another day. <laughs> I'm worry about that. Why don't you want to put that key in too tight? Because we'll never get it out again. <laughs> oh, we're never going back. Never. Right? We don't have no. any reason to go back in here. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we'll be back by like... Hopefully this Couple months lasts the life of the motor and we just pull the whole thing right off. Yeah, should like a belt should have some flex to it, obviously. But if it has too much, then it tends to wear itself out really fast because it moves around too much. Yeah, I, I think ten, like people tend to over tighten belts. This feels pretty good to me. Yeah. It's a little tight, but that'll come out when we when we set this. Let me just check. Good right here. Quick alignment check. That's pretty good. So as we we're trying to tighten up this pulley, which runs the hydraulic motor uh, we noticed that the steel plate is not connected to the frame anymore you can see as I push here you can see that that is disconnected these welds have broken um, and that's a bit of an issue because it means we can't tighten the belt all the way it also means the throttle has been vibrating yeah, this so much that it has a tendency not to want to stay revved up. We've been having that issue for a while, and this explains it. Ooh, we're going to need a better washer on this one. It is mangled. <laughs> oh, it's not even a washer anymore. Yeah. so deformed it actually has to thread off. <laughs> Alrighty. Oof. Alright, so I just gotta clean this up now. Okay, so unfortunately I have to weld something. <laughs> Mike's going to be the designated fire extinguisher guy. I think I got something here, guys. Stickiness. Does that mean the amperage is too low? So I take my hands off the welder for a split second to go turn up the amperage. And before I turn around, my brother already has half the thing welded. And uh, well, at that point, I better just let him keep going. I 
did manage to get my hands back on the welder to finish up the top angle here. Oh my god, guys. There you go. I think it was the power. got it to be honest but i still have rod left so might as well keep going just put your name on the mill yeah <laughs> <laughs> or mbs yeah puts a damper on all the It was the amperage. I can weld, guys. Good enough or what? What do you think, Mike? Are we done here? impressive part of the rebuild today was is that we didn't actually go to the hardware store. <laughs>